Hey guys, this is Tom or Sens, and this is a tutorial on how to take things from Photoshop and put them into Cinema 4D and make it 3D and put an image on it, pretty much. Uh, I'm going to give you an example of putting on an image with an iPod 3D'd in Cinema 4D, but at the moment I've got my, my logo not 3D, just the original black vector made by Trippy Designs, thank you very much. But I've got a new logo coming soon, but you'll see that soon. So yeah, we'll get on with it. Okay, basically you get what you want. Erase everything until you've got what you want. So for example, I'll magic erase the white because I only want the black to become 3D, not the white as well. So yeah, if you've got, let's say, an animal or like an object, cut it out with the pen tool or the polygon tool until you've got just what you got until you want it. Okay, now all you've got to do is hold control on your keyboard and click the actual square of the layer of what you wanna you know make 3D in Cinema 4D click it and it will highlight it all this can be useful in other things well um, yeah it can be useful in other things like rubbing things out but yeah but yeah hold control click that and then it will be marquee tooled highlighted and you go onto paths here and then you click this kinda tent looking thing at the bottom and then you'll see it's been outlined and it will say work path and now you just go to file export path to illustrator work path that's good click ok save it where you want yeah save and then close that I don't know do what you want with it go into cinema 4d file open merge doesn't work with me I don't know if it works with you but if you've already got a project open but merge doesn't work with me so just open and then it'll be there, it'll save it as an illustrator file which works in Cinema 4D and you can tell it says .ai and then double click it yep that's all cool, just click ok it's fine and then you get like an outline which is quite cool and then all you want to do, I'll just make this a bit bigger yeah this might be a long tutorial but if you really want to see it <laughs> you'll go through it with me Okay, there's the outline. How? Where's the 3D? Well, I'll show you how to do that. Just click the plus down here so you can see all the paths. The paths are the individual shapes that are there. Drag it out, delete that. So you've got just the paths. And what you have to do is you make a you have to make an extrude nerbs for every path there is. You can't put all the paths into one extrude nerb. So make how many? Yeah, five. And then. Um, drag them and drop them in so the arrow changes from left to down and then do that for each individual one into a different extrude nerve. Don't know why it's called an extrude nerve but oh well. <laughs> okay from here you can see it's now become 3D. If you want to make it a bit thicker go onto the extrude nerve, onto object and then this number at the end that's how deep it is. I think the others are how tall and wide, but I'm not sure, I don't really mess around with that. Because you can do that in Photoshop. So I'll change it to, I don't know, 100. Nice and bold. That sounds a bit... Yeah, anyway, I'm not going to go into any kind of... You could probably guess what was coming there. Anyway. 100 in all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Looks a bit boring, though. So, add go on to caps and this can add a kind of outline a bit more shape to it fill it cap fill it cap there you go it's got a minimum edge you can make it more round by turning up the steps but I'm going to keep it how it is um, radius that's how big the oops you see it from the front that's how big the border is but I'm going to keep it at five just standard I want this to go quickly so fill it cap on all of them unless you don't only want it on one but I'd say if you put them on all of them it makes it look better okay so that's how you do it from here you can add materials if you want the material to just go on the border put the material on it and then in the selection I'll give you an example just drag it on in the selection here type R1 and then it will go to the border as you can see there it's on the border but 
that's pretty much it for there. Uh, but if you want to know how to put an image onto your 3D thing, I'm going to show you with an iPod example I made earlier. <laughs> there we go. There's the iPod. You can. It's 3D. But yeah, I'll show you how to put the image on. So double click in the materials box here, and a material will be qu created. Double click on the material, on color, go onto texture, the drop down arrow, load image, and then load the image you want. I want this iPod. So I'm going to go to where that iPod is in my files. Yeah, I've got a lot of files. Too many. I'm going to forget soon where everything is. <laughs> oh, where is it? Okay. Here it is. Double click on it, and then there you go, it's on there. Drag the file on, and then go onto it, and you notice it's just white, and you're like, what? But click onto the material here. Oops, don't, yeah. Click onto it. On projection, it will say UVW mapping. You want to change that to cubic, and that's going to make the difference. There you go, it shows up now, but it's all tiled and small. So click back onto it where you change the projection, and the offset U, offset V, length U, length V is going to decide where offset U and offset V will make it go left, right, up, down, and the length will change the length of it. So I need to make it a lot wider. That's a bit too wide. And you've got to change the length. Okay, I'm going to try and do this quickly. I'm not exactly a pro at getting it accurate. Whoa. Yeah, you might have seen the iPod in my intro for Gears Reviews, app, in, app review. That's... oh no. Cinema 4D is frozen. What can you do? <laughs> yeah, I want to save that. No, I don't want to save that. Okay. Right. Bear with me a minute. <laughs> yeah, so comment in the... Yeah, not in the description. Comment on the video saying what stories you want next. Or if you have any problems, just contact me. All that jazz. I don't know how long this has been so far. but Yeah, here we go. It's back. Oh, that's lucky. It pretty much landed straight how it should be. And you might see here, for some reason, it's really like white. It's got like a white glaze. That happens with me. It's happened quite a lot recently. I don't know why. This might not happen with you, but if it does, I maybe it is meant to be cubic. So good. Yeah. If that happens with you, what I do is I double click on the texture and the image here that you've added on, double click on it, and then I just turn up the black point. I've usually turned it up to two, and that might do the trick. Okay, that's a bit too dark. Maybe 1.5. I think I did it 1.3 last time. No, 0.13. Alright. Yeah, that's good. Oh, we'll, we'll do that. Um, I'm just going to add on a little bit of caps, fillet cap, to make it more round. Up it to 10. Yeah. Do do. Add on a black onto that. Put it on cubic. R one. There we go. That's your three D shape. It won't show on the sides, but you can. Uh, I know. I think I know how you do that, but you got to mess around with the R1 selection. So that is it, actually, for this tutorial. Might because the colours that. Oh, maybe so. Right, okay. You know what I said about the oh, the black point? I think it might be because I had the colour on, like a light grey. If you turn it to black and then do it. No, it's not. Okay, forget about that. But yeah, um, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it comes useful. Thanks for all the views and the good comments, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks.